okay in the last video we constructed the definition of derivative okay there we express the slope of a tangent line as the limit of slope of secant lines that converge to the tangent line okay this uh, picture is showing a snapshot okay these black secant lines converge to the blue tangent line okay so that slope of the tangent line at p we called it the derivative of that point okay and it is the limit of this slopes of secant lines okay if this limit is defined we call tell that this function is differentiable at that point okay here the point is x naught no so we will say function is differentiable at x naught okay observe here this limit h point to 0 is a two sided limit no because there is no plus or minus mark here in the so this is the two sided limit in the animation and the picture here we are only showing convergent when convergence when h is positive no in h is positive as we send h to 0 this dot approach x axis along the higher values no values bigger than h okay then these corresponding sequence lines converge to blue line if we pick a negative h if we come and send to zero then i'm coming from the left no along the values less than h okay then also the corresponding sequence line will converge to the same blue tangent line okay we only showed one side so it's both converge to the tangent line from both sides okay okay let's let's do an example find the slope of the tangent line that means also the derivative to the function fx equals x squared at point x equals x naught okay so we will Okay, let's label the slope of the tangent line at x naught by m x naught okay so it's the slope is labeled by m x naught okay and this is the definition no so slope of the tangent line is the limit of the slopes of secant lines now this function is x squared so if i plug x naught plus h to x squared i will get this no and when i plug x naught into x squared i get this so this two is by just plugging in the values for functions i get two okay then this term i can write as a product of two terms okay. then after that i can ex expand this using foil uh, doing a foil no so each both of these will multiply the terms in the second bracket okay so first x will multiply x naught that will give us x naught squared then x multiplying h i get a h, h x naught term okay then this h also multiplying both so h multiplying x naught i get another h x naught combined with the previous one i can write 2 x naught okay then h times h is h squared and then this x naught squared is sitting here okay so now i can cancel out this x naught positive x naught squared and negative x naught squared so i get 5 okay so here you can see these two terms have a common x i can pull it out and cancel out with the outside edge okay so when i pull out the common x and cancel out tau denominator becomes 1 i don't have to write it and i put 1 x naught out i pull the h out here so this becomes 2 x naught here there were two h's i put took only one out no so this is just h and this limit is 
belongs to both these terms as h goes to 0 this one will not change no it uh, this don't have any effect in 2x naught so it will remain as 2x naught but this h will go to 0 so i get 2x naught so the slope of the tangent line to x square at x equal x naught is 2x naught or the derivative at x naught of this curve is 2x naught you can see that x naught is the input value no at that point x coordinate or the input value so this is 2x naught that means it changes with this input value okay if i pull put 1 here x naught is 1 that means i get a 2 times 1 2 if i put 4 for x naught i get 4 times 2 8 no so this derivative changes with this input x so we can ref look at it as a function of x okay input x in that sense we call derivative of fx equal s square is 2x okay and x will take whatever the value we plugging in 